your very first time here, hi, my name is Missa. Where have you been all my life? Subscribe. Go on, just do it. Hit you subscribe. So today, as you can see by the title, I am going to be talking you through what palettes I feel are worth your money. This is in follow up to this video here, which I filmed, I don't know when I filmed it, not that long ago. It's up on my channel, link it in the corner if I remember, I won't just search it. Um, which was palettes that I really regretted buying. So I needed to follow that up with a positive, positive vibed video. And we're going to talk about really good palettes. I'm going to start off with this one because it's one that I've got predominantly on my eyes. I have added a uh, glitter as well because it's me. But the palette, one palette that I think is truly worth your money and that I'm very, very excited that part two, I probably own part two by the time this video goes up is the Stacey Marie Carnival palette. I've been kind of using this the past four days in a row because her palette's been like really hyped the second part and all of that and she sent me some early sneak peeks of the inside before they'd been re like revealed and uh, yeah, it just made me want to play with this one again. So this is the Carnival palette that is in collaboration with Be Perfect and this palette's great really pigmented as you can see got an array of colors that you can see i never touch these three browns but apart from that i love every color in here my only criticism is that both highlighters are like too dark for me slash give me a cast but what ifs i didn't really come for the highlighters i came for the shadows they're really pigmented i'll show you there's just there's just a a small, a small cross sample. Swatched all the blues because blue is pretty much my favourite colour in the world. But yeah, brilliant palette. I think it's £39, £40, £42. Literally no idea because I bought this so long ago. But, great palette. I should have prefaced this by saying if you're new here and you've never seen me before then this is like everyday makeup for me that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I don't wear neutrals. Maybe I was going to say 5% of the time, too high, 2% of the time of my life I wear neutrals. Um, but the next palette is pretty neutral. Um, but I did buy it for one shade and it is my favourite palette in the world. So if you're not new here, I don't need to talk about this very much. Dose of Colours for Indication palette. You will not buy a better quality eyeshadow palette apart from the other ones that I'm going to talk about. But yeah, this is one of the best quality eyeshadow palettes I've ever used in my entire life. This was expensive for me when this released, like, I mean, it's so expensive for me. I'm poorer now than I've ever been because I lost my job because my back. Um, but this is the best quality palette in the world. The metallics are disgusting. The um, mattes are sickening. And I mean both of those words in a really good way. It's incredible. You should buy it. Look at that blue. Can we just talk about that? Even this shade here, Dirty Money, is one of the most beautiful colours smeared all over your eyes but just look and this one called just a kiss if you just pat this over any like bog standard gold eyeshadow look you've done you will elevate it so i'm not gonna fanny on around talking about this palette because i've spoken about this in many a video so yeah just get it if, if you're if you're holding off on getting it just get it you will not be disappointed okay Lord, how many times do I have to tell you that? Gonna slip down a couple of notches in the price range to a Colourpop palette. I've got now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eyeshadow palettes by Colourpop. This one is the I Love Sarah E. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, through my eyes palette. This is the best Colourpop palette that I've ever owned myself. But I do only own ten, and I know they probably they they what they have about one million seven hundred and thirty four. This is very pigmented for not that much money. Look at that. Look at that green. Look at it. You know what I mean? I'm going to say that about everything, but just look at it. This has some of the kind of basic neutrals that you need, like this top shade, this one here. Even this one here is kind of semi-neutral. Lovely yellow, green. I mean, it's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I love it so much. I think I used this in my tutorial that I did. Was it on my birthday? And I got quite drunk like halfway through, but it was great. And I love that palette and you should buy it. It's one of the more 
pricey ColourPop ones. I hope it's still available. What if it's not still available? It wasn't, is it limited edition? Oh, I don't know. Fabulous palette. Highly recommend, you can probably imagine. We'll jump on another drugstore one. One one that needs no introduction on my channel. Soft as nails, extra spice. You can get this in America now. So if you're an American, go buy it. Honestly, great palette. You just think of, go away fly. And you just think of other words to describe things, but I'm quite basic. I see things like nice and great. This is 10 pounds at the drugstore. I can't remember how much that one was. Go away. The dose of colours was 42, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is fabulous. I can't swatch on this finger anymore because it's covered in cuts that so I don't know how I got there. But um, this is a great quality drugstore eyeshadow palette. There's just a few examples. That like poo brown colour is very unappealing on the finger but on the eye looks beautiful. This shade here, amazing. The silver is what makes it pretty unique. I've got me some pretty strong opinions about um, Makeup Revolution and their ridiculous amount of collabs that they release. It's not even the amount of collabs they release, it's how quickly they release them. And this was the the OG, well the OG was the first soul palette. This came quite close afterwards and I probably use this palette the most out of any drugstore eyeshadow palette ever. If you know me, you'll probably know I'm a little bit of a snob not really a little bit of a snob when it comes to eyeshadows i generally prefer high-end formulas they just tend to be superior so yeah this is a fabulous one though really great price point for how many shadows you get and great payoff great payoff i've done many a video using this we'll go back to high end i'm gonna bring back an oldie but goldie this is the urban decay moon dust and when i open it you're gonna see how much I've truly loved and cared for this palette for a very long time. I got this a long time ago. I can't remember how long I've owned this palette. Probably like, I don't know, three years? It's hard for me to actually use now because so many of the shades are so deeply, like, panned almost. So let me try and get swatches for you. I'm like wasting precious pigment here. Look at that green again. I've got to swatch her. Look. This is a case of like glittery eyeshadows done completely right. I am not a fan of like pressed glitters in palettes. For me, they're just a bit faffy. They also mess up the rest of your palette as well. But this Urban Decay Moon Dust formula is incredible. You can use the glitter glue below it if you want, but you don't need to. If you, you did, say you did like a basic matte green eye and you were like, oh, everyone needs glitter in their lives, like I think, just go over it on top with, with, with this shade. Another dimension of gorgeousness. I can't recommend this palette enough if you like glittery eyeshadows. It's not big chunky glitter, it's lovely little micro fine glitters that just bring joy to the soul. Um, let's move on to this one. This one is from a person that I do not care for in the slightest. He's done nothing to me, but um, yeah, I think he's I think he's a bit of a bit of a spoiled brat. But this palette's incredible. It's the James Charles Morphe palette. Um, sorry if you're a James James Charles fan. What do they call now? Stands. Gosh, that made me sound old. I hate that word. This is the Unleash Your Inner Artist James Charles palette. I hummed and hawed, hummed and hawed, hummed and hawed, didn't really, just bought it immediately because I knew I was gonna love these two bottom rows, pretty much. I bought them, I bought it for that. I actually admit, I've done quite a few neutral looks with this palette. Turned out bomb, loved them. Um, let me do a few switchy swatches for you. Look at that beautifulness, look at that blue, look at the yellow. Look at the pink, all bring joy to my soul. It's a great quality palette. It's one of the more up there in price palettes, um, but you do get 39 eyeshadows and the pans in the middle are biggest because they are your transition shades for most normal people. I could do with the bright pink and yellow as being transition shades, but that's just me. Um, great quality palette. I really don't have any complaints about it, to be quite honest, apart from 
I um, could be a bit cheaper for a Morphe palette, even though it's got James Charles' name on it. Um, but yeah, great palette. Very desirable. Seems to be back in stock. I think it's permanent. Why would they not make it permanent, though? Also, I've got another Morphe palette. One that I did a uh, the called tutorial on pretty recently. This is the 35M or the Both Mood palette. It's a great palette. I bought it for the murky greens. I'm not sure if I've ever done another look that doesn't just have the greens in it, but it's a fabulous palette. I find that this, though, is, in my opinion, a step down from the formula in this. This one is superior, but this one is very good and it's a lot cheaper. This one is £23. These, what are they, 35 shadows? Great palette. Um, yeah, this this is quite an autumnal palette. I don't know what season you're in in your part of the world, but for us, we're going into summer, so I will probably retire this more now that I've done another look with it after so many requests. But great palette and one that I wear a lot in the autumn because, I mean, it's got these like burnt oranges, lovely plums, like that's just great. It's great. There's a lot of colours in here that I don't use just like with any like really big palette but I don't care because it's fabulous. We'll talk about this. This is another palette from the drugstore that I would recommend after the Soap Death Nails Extra Spice, especially if this colour scheme appeals to your um, pickle more, tickles your pickle more. This is the Lottie London Times Twee Lee Living My Best Life palette. It's great, it's great. The matte tones in here are very reminiscent and very close to the tones that are in this palette. The formula is not as good, so don't buy this thinking it's gonna be the same. It's not as good, but considering this palette's like eight pounds, it blew my mind how good this was. I've done so many looks with this palette that I really enjoyed. I thought were nice, then, you know, I'm a little bit biased sometimes. If that isn't winter in three eyeshadows, I don't know what is. This has got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful metallics in it that work very well. They do work better when you wet them. What metallics don't? Even ABHs work a little bit better when you wet them, but honestly, if you're looking for an inexpensive drugstore palette, that one is fantabulous and would recommend. We'll save these two for last, so I'll go into this one. Now you know I'm a rainbow kind of gal, so I had to include my Colour Drain Vivid Pigments. This is a Z palette with the single eyeshadows, but they do sell this now like as a palette palette. Um, so I don't know if you can buy individual shades anymore, but it's great. These shadows blend like a dream, are highly pigmented and truly worth the money. Coloured Rain, like I said in, I th depends when this video was up, potentially my last video, second last video, they know how to do bright colour eyeshadows and they do it with a plum, if I may say so. In fact, they know how to do any kind of eyeshadows. I honestly could have included my Queen of Hearts palette in this video as well, but I didn't want to have too many palettes in this video and I really wanted to have a really kind of succinct list. So I chose to include this one because this is the one that I use the most. Quite often I'll use a rainbow palette where I don't quite have the right shade that I need of blue or pink or purple so I just dip into my vivid pigments. Wham bam thank you ma'am. You know? This next palette is near and dear to my heart. When this release, I could not afford it. I just couldn't afford it at all. It's not even that old. I couldn't afford it. Still couldn't now if it released today, but um, yeah, couldn't afford it. Have I said that enough? And then one day I got contacted by a PR company and they said, hey, do you wanna choose like five things? I think it was three or five things off of Beauty Bay um, just so you can, you know, promote them on your channel if you like them. And I was like, mm-hmm, okay. And I got this. I got my baby. I got my blood sugar. I did go on afterwards and buy one and put it in a giveaway, but this is my baby. She's well loved, very well loved. I've done quite a few videos using this palette. Okay, 
so it's pigmented yeah it blends yeah the packaging <laughs> i die it's beautiful it is clunky it is chunky she's fat but she's beautiful and if you if you like this color scheme you should buy it one thing you have to understand about this palette is that the white is the best white I've ever come across in any palette in all of all of time to be quite honest pack that on your inner corner you'll look sick sorry I've just wiped these off already without even showing you them up close there is some neutrals in here so you could do a quite pared down look like the, this one this one this one this one this one the brown the white you could do a neutral look if you wanted or you could kick it up put bright pink on your lid Put, put red under your eyes. I can't do that though, it makes me look really ill, but I mean, oh, this coma shade. Why am I swatching it with this finger? I've got cuts all over this finger. Have you ever seen a more beautiful like raspberry tone in your life? Look at it. Look at it. Some of my favorite looks that I've ever done are with this palette, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's fabulous. I love it and I could talk about it probably for another 10 minutes without getting bored of myself. So we should move on to what's actually going to be the last palette because like I said I just wanted to, to do ones that for example were this ever to happen a house fire rips through my flat because my old lady neighbour downstairs who never turns off her heating even in the midst of summer maybe leaves her heater on and her fire goes, her flat goes on fire. This is a really long story just to say I would save these palettes in a house fire and this is the last one I would pick. This is cats fighting outside all the time. I think this is my most recent purchase from Morphe. I saw this online, I immediately fainted, got rushed to ER, I didn't, but that could have happened because of the beauty of this palette and if you, if you know me, then you know how I feel about it. This is the 39S, does it have a fancier name? Such a gem, such a gem, because it, it's purple and it's beautiful. Um, if I can find it, I'll try and put on the swatches on screen of this middle row here because this middle row is a formula that is like unlike any other formula Morphe you've ever done it's comparable I would say to the Morphe no Colourpop Super Shock shadows um th this palette is a purple lover's dream come true to be quite frank mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This palette to me is one of the best formulas that Morphe have ever done. I think it is in line with um, James Charles in terms of the mattes, which I find very great in every way. I'm not going to go through the blendable pigment, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean when I'm talking about how great it is. So that is the palettes that I think you should all own if you're anything like me or you tend to like the same formulas that I like or you tend to like the same kind of colors that I like, the same kind of style of makeup that I like. I am gonna quickly, very quickly whiz through a few honorable mentions, just because I've only been filming for 26 minutes and for me that is very fast. So I've only got four honorable mentions, but I feel like I need to, I need to talk about these very briefly. So the first one is if you're maybe not wanting to buy a palette, maybe you love blue, then then you're gonna want, you're gonna wanna buy Dose of Colors, Single Eyeshadow in Teal Me More. A, Formula's Bomb. B, this color is sick. It's outrageous. And when I saw it, I had to have it because why would I not want, I can't even breathe looking at that swatch. This is a duochrome, it's like a deep blackened purple to this most outrageous teal. Look at it, look at it. These are expensive, expensive, 16 pounds for one. 
eyeshadow. But, I mean, when you look that good, you know, you can afford to be expensive. Second one goes to Huda Beauty. I love her palettes. I like Huda's formula. I don't think I'm in the majority when I say that. I think I'm not. Anyway, Amer um, Emerald Amethyst Obsessions Mini Palette. These are £25. These are great. Um, if you need like a catch-up palette, if maybe you don't want to spend a heap a heap of money but you still want high-end, fantastic. I'm going to swatch a couple shades. Look. Look at that dual chrome. This gorgeous, gorgeous like deep, plummy, plummy metallic. And then just a nice deep matte, that's what you need. These capsule palettes are great. I really like Sapphire and I really like Emerald and I love Amethyst. Amethyst is probably what I'm drawn to the most because I am, um, I don't know why, but I am. Um, but the other ones are great as well. Um, the neon, the newer neon palettes, they are harder to work with. They're not quite as pigmented, they're not quite there. But these little 25 pound ones, great. Sorry, I need to go faster than this. I never usually work in new palettes into these videos because I need to test them for a long time and really put them through their paces. But this palette impressed me so much. And I have actually used it now twice off camera as well as once on camera. This is the Makeup Revolution, um, Revolution Pro Night and Day Palette. This is a dupe of a Pat McGrath palette. You can probably see that. These are £12. And these last four are either beautiful pigmented metallics or dual chromes. I can't quite believe that um, Makeup Revolution or Revolution Pro, sorry, was able to make such pigmented products. Like these are better, to be quite honest, this formula is better than what is in both of the Soph palettes. Look at that dual chrome. This one is like a, like an icy shift. It's incredible. It's got glitter in it. I'm not doing it any justice. This blue, that's makeup revolution. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I want to talk more about that. If you want to see a video using that, I'll link it below. Probably won't, but there you go. Great palette. And then our last honorable mention goes to a palette that really impressed me. This is the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. This seems to come in like different layouts and different formats. I don't know if it's country dependent or what. Um, this is a great palette. This really impressed me. I've never, ever, ever in my life ever tried Maybelline eyeshadows before until I tried this and I was so impressed. This bronze especially, this is why I always talk about when I talk about this palette. This bronze called Sugar Coated is one of the most pigmented going on for days metallics like that that that's drugstore do you know what i mean it's not mega cheap drugstore but it is good price if you want a drugstore palette that will perform well mattes and metallics maybelline lemonade craze i rest my case so there we are friends what do you think of my top picks of palettes that are worth your money and also do you agree do you disagree have you used any and hated them or have you used them and loved them tell me down below also tell me if i made you buy them because that always makes me feel a little bit good and then a little bit bad because i'm like oh made them part with their money hope they like it also let me know what palettes i haven't listed maybe that i don't even own if you've watched my channel for a while that i need to buy not that i need to buy more palettes especially after sunday's video but you know, there's always room in my heart for one or two more. Um, and yeah, that's it for me today, I guess. So thank you all so, 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 so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't, give it a pretty thumbs up. Also leave me a comment down below because you know me. I do reply to all of my comments. And also subscribe because, you know, it's a polite thing to do. A huge thank you as well to my channel patrons. You guys are incredible for supporting me in a financial manner. You know what? It boggles my mind. When we hit 75, we're going to do another Patreon-only giveaway, and I do still need to initiate Patreon-only videos. However, I am struggling just with my back to have 
three videos up on my channel and an extra video but I will do my best to make that happen. But if you are not a Patreon or can't or don't want to become a Patreon, please don't worry. It is no pressure and also just you supporting, watching, commenting, liking my videos is a huge support. And on that note, I'm going to go take a photo of this makeup look. I um, might do my hair differently though because, I don't know, feel, feel, don't like it. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I'm going crazy for you, baby.